kiss goodbye, waiting for your bright blue sky. Lonely night, with the angels cry, holding on to the sunrise. When you come back to me, I've got too much feelings. Maybe you're the one I wanna love. Sa pumili ng adaptability card, ito niya reading. Tinan natin kung ano yung mensahe sa inyo ng Panginoon. I'm sensing kanta na... I'm not sure kung yung tatla niya ay Miracle by Mariah Carey yung... There can be miracles if you believe. Yun yung essence ko naririg skaling sa kantang yun. Okay, siguro nagugulohan ka sa pag-ibig or yung mga signs na binibigay sa'yo ng Panginoon. Ngayon, i-clarify natin yung cards. I feel na you're, you're questioning kung nandun ba kayo sa maling tao or hindi. Baka dahil sa mga away, kaya ka naguguluhan. Another dimension. So, so far, kung may lover kayo guys, loyal siya. Hindi siya magbabago. Um, siguro takot kayo kasi baka iwanan kayo na inyong tao. So, ito yung confirmation na kung sino man yung karelasyon mo sa ngayon, siya ay loyal type, okay? So, ito yung siguro yung na-stress ka dahil nag-aaway kayong dalawa. But that I feel na yung away na yan dapat yan mangyari. Kasi I feel that, you know, with the card ng adaptability, ibig sabihin nun na kailangan nyo mangyari para maintindihan nyo yung isa't isa or paano nyo i-handle yung situation. So, ang um, masyadong isipin na yung mga away na yan, Um, napaka-negative. Alam ko naman na hindi maganda din yung away, pero minsan kasi yung away nangyayari, hindi ba kapag di kayo magkasundo, and so on. I feel na it's kind of like a form of learning each other out with regards to relationship. So, yung gusto sabihin sa inang Panginoon na wag kang may stress lang sa mga away na yan. Because those fights will lead you on to learn more about your person and your person will learn more about you. And anyway, we also have this one. So, ang gusto sabihin sa inang Panginoon, na if ever you do have a career right now, you have to rejoice about it kasi itong career na to, yung babalanse ng inyong buhay. And whatever your career is or kung ano man na sinisimulan nyo, I feel like sa future is, you know, magbe-benefit yan sa inyo. And I feel na iya kayo kasi matagal nyo na talagang inaasam na magkaroon ng career na talagang swa sa'yo. So, gusto sabihin sa'yo ng Panginoon na once you have that career, remember to rejoice or give thanks to the Lord. Kasi minsan, yung ibang tao, kapag nakuha na nila yung gusto nila, nakalimutan na yung Panginoon. So, sana hindi yung makalimutan ang Panginoon sa oras na ma-receive nyo yung inyong blessings. Oh, this is nice, okay? 
So, I feel here na yung gusto sabihin sa'yo ng Panginoon na if ever you do have a lover or someone who really loves you, um, wag ka magsyado mag-focus sa kanilang amount of money. Kasi yung pag-ibig, hindi naman yan nasusukat sa pera or kung ano yung ma-offer nila sa'yo with regards sa uh, materialistic things or desire. Kasi I feel na yung mabibigay sa'yo ng Panginoon ng Panginoon, is yung tao na mapagmahal talaga at mapag-aruga kasi I'm sensing na in the future talaga you know, to be honest ito yung kailangan natin taong makalinga at saka maalaga so, so far, yung binigay sa'yo ng Panginoon um, gusto niya sabihin sa'yo na ito na yung the one, huwag mo lang pansinin masyado si um, money with regards to this person. So, God is definitely encouraging you to love this person despite of the status that he or she has with regards sa kanyang career. Okay? Kasi dito ka dapat mag-focus sa loyal na tao tsaka sa mapagmahal na tao. So, maganda yung reading mo kasi pinapakita ng Diyos na balanse ka naman sa parehong bagay sa career at ganun din sa love life which is nice. So, this is definitely your confirmation about it. So, siguro yung ba sa inyo natatakot na ipakilala sa mga tao yung Um, jowa mo kasi nga may issue with regards sa money. But yet, I feel like God is encouraging you to speak out. If ever, you know, dumating na sa point na ipapakilala mo yung iyong tao sa yung relatives. They want you to relax because of the reason na tatanggapin naman ng pamilya mo kung sino yung jowa mo at ganun din yung work mo na talaga ang swak sa'yo. So, wala ka dapat ipag-alala kasi nakikita natin na stress ka na As you can see, so for yung stress mo guys, yung worried mo, wala naman talaga dapat, okay? Um, kaya ka nandito sa reading na to para maging kampante ka and you have to realize na okay naman. With regards sa larangan ng pag-ibig, ganun din sa larangan ng iyong career. Okay? So far naman, gusto sabihin sa'yo ng Panginoon, kung sakali man na nareceive na nga yung blessing with regards sa career, at saka ganun, di, ganun din sa love life, matagal mo na yung hiniling sa kanya. Kaya yan ipinagkaloob sa inyo ng Panginoon. And ito yung natatakot ka, siguro nakaranas ka noong past na may third party situation or pwede rin ginamit ka ng tao tapos umalis siya sa iyong buhay. Pero so far, kung sino man ang naging partner mo sa ngayon, yan ay blessing sa'yo ng Panginoon after all that has happened to you as you can see. Okay? So as I told you, yun ang nag Hiling ka sa Panginoon at tinumpan niya yan. At saka kung sakaling ang kahilingan mo naman ay magkaroon ng um, re- relationship, hindi lang sa love life, kundi friendship na rin na maganda. So, darating din yan sa iyo na mamimit mo yung mga kaibigan na tunay at hindi yung mga tao na deceitful. Siguro nung pa sa kamit ka ng mga gantong tao, na ginamit ka lang siguro sa kayamanan and so on, pero I feel na sa future, kundi yung pa nakikita yung friendship na hinahanap mo, magkakaroon kayo. Kasi you pray for it, or maybe nakita kasi ng Panginoon na talagang kailangan mo rin ng kaibigan. So, anyway, here is your card adaptability. So, ito yung maganda kasi everything that you have in your life is currently something that is definitely stable and really grounded. So, gusto sabihin sa'yo ng Panginoon na huwag ka masyadong mag-alala, focus ka sa work, ganun din sa iyong love life kasi lahat na meron sa'yo sa ngayon is something that is stable and grounded. And all you have to do is focus on those things. Okay? Tsaka huwag ka masyada mag-focus sa pag-alala or unnecessary worry. Anyway, let's see what else we have here. 
So we have the forget here. So I feel like God is wanting you to forget all those things that happened to you in your past. Kasi hindi ko naman nakikita sa inyong reading na mag repeat si past. Past is past, guys. So you have to let that go. So you have the toxic here. So siguro yung ba sa inyo, you're holding back because of the reason na nakaranas kayo ng traumatic experience. So for naman, gusto sabihin sa inyo ng Panginoon na yung mga Ah, negatibong bagay sa iyong buhay malayo na yan sa iyo sa ngayon we also have the heart in reverse so you're definitely experiencing right now an easy life compared to what you have in the past so kaya wala kang dapat ipag-alala kasi ganito yung energy mo na madalas kang mag-alala or you're all, also um, holding back kasi nga sa mga trauma Okay, that you put your walls up or lumalayo ka kaagad. So, ayaw ng Panginoon na ito yung energy mo. Gusto niya sana na magkaroon ka ng bravery at saka ng contentment kung nasan ka man sa ngayon. So, you have the cold in reverse. If ever in the past you experienced cold-heartedness of people, I believe that you will meet finally people that are definitely good for you. Okay, at saka, if you're naiyak kayo, kasi madagal nyo nang pinapangarap na magkaroon ng tunay na kaibigan. So, you will definitely have it. We also got a wheel of fortune in reverse. And we also got precious memories in here. So, gusto ko sabihin ng Panginoon na yung past mo, ganito. Kaya ka masyado nag-aalala. So far, gusto sabihin sa'yo ng Panginoon na those are the things of the past now. I feel na kaya, you know, naging mabuti na yung iyong buhay kasi first of all, you learn from your mistakes at saka syempre nagkaroon ng growth kasi syempre kung patuloy mong gagawin yung maling bagay or yung cycle, paulit-ulit yan. Okay, so far naman, I feel here na wala kayo dapat ipag-alala. So, anyway, tinan natin, walang daw kayo magbago na, you know, you could be a good person. At saka, gusto sabihin sa'yo ng Panginoon na huwag ka sana magbago na maging masama. Gusto niya sana na patuloy ka maging mabuti at malapit sa Kanya. Ngayon, tinan naman natin kung ano pang meron sa kanya mensahe sa'yo. Essence ko rin yung kantang, If there is one more gift, I ask of you, Lord, there will be peace here on earth. So, siguro yun din yung willing mo na sana maging peaceful na yung inyong buhay. Kasi if inauhaw ka na talaga sa something na stable, at saka ganun din sa peace sa inyong buhay. And I feel na nag-aalala kayo, naiiyak, mixed emotions, but that I feel like by this reading, God is telling you, you know, everything is well, all is well, guys, okay, with regards to your life as of this time. So, I feel like you pass a test of the divine, pero I feel na gusto sabihin sa'yo ng Panginoon na huwag kang masyadong mag-alala pag nawawala yung mga tao sa inyong buhay. Kasi first of all, there's somebody that is deceitful, at saka ito siguro yung mga dahilan din kung bakit kayo madalas si mawala ng pera or trabaho can be. So, so far, I feel na nakalayo na kayo sa ganitong certain experiences of what you have in the past. So, ito yung nangyari, kaya bumalansa yung buhay mo, kasi nalayo ka na sa mga tao na nagdi-disturb ng inyong peace. Kaya may connection yung kanta, di ba? So, nilingyo yung peace. So, it shall be granted to you. Bumalansa yung buhay mo, but make sure you're not actually holding on to something that is toxic. So, anyway, that's it guys with regards to your reading. Okay, parang gusto nila biyang kayo ng karma reading. Kasi meron dito na sa past na tao na talagang um, may ginawa sa yung kalokohan. Kaya ganito yung nararamdaman mo. Lagi ka nag na stress, and so on. So, for closure guys, we will tackle on about sa karma ng tao of your past. Okay? 
na nakagawa sa iyo ng mali. I feel na karma ng tao sumira ng inyong buhay can be nilangyari sa past. Kasi I really sense guys sa marami kayong pinagdaan and this balance of yours nyo so hugs to you all. So sana you may have that peace of mind and peace of heart as well now that you know everything about your plan, about your life, okay? So far naman, with regards sa karma nila, lalabas ang katotohanan. Kasi remember na lumabas yung naka-reverse na sword kanina. Ibig sabihin na no, may illusion, may lies. Uh, tsaka, I feel na you managed to break free from those illusions. So, kung sakali man nag-alala ka, kasi backloaded pa rin si thoughts and so on, I believe that your thoughts is on point. As you can see. So, yung karma nila, guys, sa labas ang katotohanan, whether they like it or not. At ito yung mahigin dahilan kung bakit lalayo yung mga tao sa kanyang buhay. Ngayon, kung sakali sila ay binigyan ka ng confusion at kung ano man, mararanasan nila yan. Na hindi sila makapag-isip ng maayos, sinipiswal yung kanilang buhay. Isa rin sa kanilang karma ay iiwasan siya ng mga tao or aawayin. Parang itataboy nila yung taong ito kasi first of all, remember what happened to your life as siya yung dahilan kung bakit nagkaroon ng toxicity sa buhay mo at walang peace. So, ganun din mararanasan niya na mawalan siya ng peace and harmony. At hindi lang yun, lalaruan, um, lalayuan siya ng mga tao at saka, you know, lalabas ang katotohanan. At finanaya kayo kasi matagal niyo na talagang inaasam yung ustisya at saka yung mabunyag yung katotohanan. So, I feel na that's the reason why I kinda sense yung kantang miracle song in the beginning part. So, maybe that miracle is what you're looking for. So, it will happen in the future na malalaman ng mga tao yung katotohanan. Okay, that's it guys and God bless all of you. So, pumili ng silence card. Ito yung reading. Tinan natin kung naman sa inyo ng Panginoon. I feel like you're feeling lucky and inspired as well. I don't know why, pero nasense ko karma reading. At nagkuguluhan ka with regards sa yung life at sa yung trabaho na rin. Paano ka baligtaran siya ng number one? To be honest with you. Tapos sa yung reading, nagkaroon ng tawal ng aso sa background. But I'm not sure if, you know, um, this video pick it up. Pero yun nga yung nangyayari na magulo yung buhay mo. I've sensing consequences of actions in the past. So kung sakali man na may um, hindi maganda nangyayari sa inyong buhay, God is wanting you to know na this is something to do with karma. Kung naman na nagawa mo noong past, so sana umiwas na kayong kamawa ng mali para hindi nyo na tumaranasan. Ngayon, i-clarify natin yung cards to gain more information. Okay, gusto sabi ng Panginoon sa inyo guys, please iwasan nyo na mag-curse. And remind yourself na kada may masama kang gawin, syempre may balik yan. So, ngayon, dahil sa masama yung mga nangyari sa iyong buhay, yan na yung bad karma na tinatawag natin. At yung dahilan nun is because you could have cursed somebody in the past at wrong deal. I feel na naiyak kayo kasi 
um, baka nasaktan kayo ng tao yun or kung ano man kayo nagawa niya mag-curse. So, talaga hindi mabuti ang mag-curse guys. So, please iwasan ninyo. So, anyway, gusto sabihin sa inyo ng Panginoon na siguro nagpe-pray kayo na sana um, everything will turn out to well. Pero kasi with the evidence being here, narinig ng Panginoon yung dasal mo. Pero gusto sabihin ng Panginoon that pinapaalala rin niya sa inyo kung ano yung nagawa niyo noong past. At saka gusto ipaunawa sa inyo ng Panginoon nangyari to because of your bad karma. So, iwasan niyo rin na magkaroon kayo ng tendency na mag-blame agad kay God. Kasi first of all, yung mga experiences na yan nangyayari because of a reason. Hindi naman laging rason ay yung Panginoon. Kasi I feel like God is pointing out that on your end, you did something wrong. At saka kaya pinapaalala sa ng Panginoon kung ano ginawa mo. Kasi maybe you're looking at yourself as somebody as righteous. Okay, um, I feel here na may nangyari noong past pero binaliwala nyo kasi during that time na nakagawa kayo ng masama sa kapa nyo or something, okay naman sa buhay nyo with regards sa career. Pero yung sa club guys, okay, siguro na kayo dito kasi akala mo forever si job pero naging illusion. So, remember, nangyari to kasi may ginawa kayo noong pas. Nagmalinis kayo, hindi kayo nag-sorry, and so on. So, kaya kayo inambot ng kamalasan sa career. At saka, gusto rin nila sabihin sa'yo na iwasan mo na ang mangulam or kahit manggayuma to keep somebody stuck. So, I feel here as well na yung nangyari sa'yo sa inyong buhay ay talagang Um, karma. And I'm sensing here as well na nalulungkot kayo kasi may iba sa inyo. Yung nangyari dito, nagayuma din kayo na inyong tao na esto kayo dahil sa baby or something. At saka, kung hindi man yun ang sitwasyon, basta nagkaroon ka ng stress sa iyong buhay. I feel like the reason why this has happened to you kasi baka minasaktan kayo din noong past na mabuting tao for you. And maybe you took somebody for granted. So, maraming factors dito ng bad karma um, kung bakit ito nangyari. Kasi yung ba sa inyo nag-curse, yung ba naman sa inyo, you know, you could have kept somebody stuck by using a baby, can be. Or maybe another reason natin dito is can be you add stress to someone's life na mabuti. And so we have is this one. So they want you to know, don't take people for granted and don't hold grudges as well. I feel na kaya kayo nakapag-curse siguro dahil yun nga sa grudges na nararamdaman ninyo. So I'm sensing kung sino yung nabitin mo nyo actually makareceive siya ng blessings from heaven. As you can see, magkakaroon siya ng trabaho and also this person will experience true love, true match is what I sense. And with the sense well here, so mananatiling grounded yung inyong tao, maganda, gwapo. Okay, I feel na may masaya yung kanilang buhay. So, ito yung gusto sabihin sa inyo ng Panginoon na if you want a good life, like what happened to whomever your past person is, then be a good person. Iwasan yung kumawa ng mabuti kasi para din yan sa ikabubuti nyo, para sa future nyo hindi, hindi kayo habuli ng bad karma or bad luck. So, we have this silence card here. So, siguro, kasi nakita mo naman si card natin, may ginagawa kang kababalaghan, okay, um, behind the scenes. So, ito yung iwasan mo na, mangi, na gawin. Kasi, okay, mawawala si blessings mo kapag patuloy mo yan gagawin. So, try to manifest in a good way, guys. Wag lagi yung curse, okay? Iwasan nyo mag-revenge. Or gumawa na masama sa inyong kapwa. Okay? So, anyway, here's your card. So, obviously, basahin nyo. Ito yung ginawa nyo. 
Nagkulam siguro kay ng tao, so you also have the balance card in either way. So kaya imbalance yung inyong buhay. Iba naman sa inyo guys, so curse kayo kasi balance yung buhay ninyo at kung so manira ng kapwa. So iwasan mo yun kasi kung sakali man tumalab yung kulam mo, babalik at babalik din yan sa'yo. Makakaranas ka rin ng imbalance sa inyong buhay. At yung basta yung nararanasan nyo na yan, that's why you're here. So, lesson learn here, don't ever curse everyone, don't ever do bad things, kasi nakita mo naman ang impact nun sa buhay mo. And remind yourself that karma does exist, whatever you saw. Okay, whatever you saw is what you shall reap. So you have the truth in reverse here. We also got the agreed in here. I'm sensing na iyak kayo at saka ito, magulo yung isipan nyo sa ngayon. Yung ba sa inyo nangyari dito guys, maybe out of greed, maybe you could have put somebody in a situation na pinilit mong mahalid ka. So that's also the reason why kung ba't mo na-experience siya to, na you're somebody who's actually being put on to a person na karmic, na greedy. Kasi maybe yun yung energy na pinaput out mo at saka yun din siguro yung nagawa mo nung past. Kaya rin ito nangyari. So you also have the book here. So God is wanting you to remind yourself about whatever you've done in the past. Kasi yun yung naging sanhe kung ba't kayo naka-experience kayo ng karma. So yes, we have to end here. We also have this one. So God is also telling you na iwasan nyo ng gumawa ng mali. Okay, you need to be a, a changed person para mag-ending lahat na mga masasama nangyayari sa inyong buhay. Kasi pati si blessings mo guys ay nakablock na rin. And we also got a seven in either way. Malungkot dito, guys. You're divinely guided by heaven. Pero yung masakit kasi hindi nyo sinusunod yung gusto sabihin sa inyo ng Panginoon na gawin nyo. Patuloy yung ginagawa yung masama and so on. Kaya ito yung nangyari na hindi na naging okay yung inyong buhay. So sana, learn from your mistakes and do something good. At iwasan nyo magulang. May gumawa na masama sa inyong kapwa, kundi man lang yan about sa kulang. So, tinan natin kung ano pang meron. Since yung kanta, we're starting all over again. Um, yung part yun na, um, parang naalala. Hindi ko masabay yung lyrics kasi ang haba ng nasasense ko na lyrics sa aking mind. N nalimot ko na ibang part nun. Pero yung lyrics sa part niya is when I remember the day when we met. And things I, I can't ever forget. Parang ganun ba yung nandoon. So, I think what's going on to you, naalala mo lahat ng mga ginawa mo noong past. At saka naalala mo rin na may nasaktan ka mabuting tao. So, iwasan yung gumawa ng masama kasi look what happened here. Karma ang naranasan ninyo. Um, I feel na you did something wrong because maybe you thought na everything is going well with your life but walang karma na mangyayari. But yet, whether you like it or not, everything will fall apart because of whatever you have done. At saka yung malungkot dito guys, hindi kayo umamin sa pagkakamali nyo or di kayo naka-experience ng guilt because during that time, everything is balanced in your life. 
Ang susabihin sa ng Panginoon na um, iwasan nyo yung paggawa ng masama kasi kailangan nyo maging mabuti. If you really want a partner that's really a good person, then you have to change. So, siguro iba sa inyo, hiniling nyo na mabuting tao pero napunta sa inyo is somebody na nag-trap sa inyo with a baby ginagamit kayo sa pera, greedy, and so on. Kasi maybe yan yung energy mo noong past, o kaya may nagawa kayong mali, hindi kayo nagbabago. So that's the reason why you encounter people that are bad. So kung gusto nyo na maka-attract na mabuti, be a good person. So... Anyway, that's it guys with regards to your reading. So I just hope you change um, for the best for your future. And okay, you have to see the warning signs of heaven for you. They mentioned to me. And di wasa nyo talaga na mag-blame lahat kay God. Kasi first of all guys, you did something wrong. Take accountability. Say sorry to the Lord. And change for the best. And God bless you all. Sa so, pumili na Wimsy card, dito niya reading. Tinan natin kung na mensahe sa iyo ng Panginoon. Right away, nasense ko yung message na be grounded and be wise as well. Nasense ko rin na mabigat sa mata, so maybe nandito kayo ngayon because may pinagdaraanan kayo ngayon sa inyong buhay. Hugs to every one of you. I feel na gusto sabihin sa inang Panginoon na malalagpasan mo rin ito. And things will change for the best. Ito yung dapat mo rin maunawaan. Kaya nangyari yung kung ano man nang nangyari. I feel na may nilalayo ang Panginoon na tao sa inyong buhay. I-clarify natin yung cards. Bigla nagkaroon ng tawal ng aso sa inyong reading. So, baka ibig sabihin nun, may mga away. Okay. Gusto na lang sabihin sa inyo na gusto ng Panginoon na may pagbabago sa inyong buhay. And that's also the reason why kung bakit kaya nilalayo sa mga tao na hindi nag-resonate sa inyong energy. So siguro yung pagbabago na yan in your perspective hindi mabuti. But that God is pointing you out na hindi na okay yung inyong buhay. That's the reason why. Kung bakit ka nga pinotektahan at nilayo ka sa tao na materialistic. Okay? Kasi kung sino to, nasense ko na ahas yung kanyang energy. Bakit ginagamit na niya kayo sa pera o kaya dahil sa kanya... Um, nawalan kayo ng magandang opportunity for yourself. Maybe this is somebody na merong crab mentality, attitude, na gusto niya siya lang yung angat, ikaw yung pabagsak. So, yun ang nangyari dito, nilayo ka ng Panginoon sa kanya kasi hindi ka nag-grow. Habang nandyan yung tao na yan sa yung buhay. Ngayon, gusto sabihin sa inang Panginoon, ito'y nangyari, nagkaroon ng changes. So, ito yung sinabi niya, nilayo ka niya sa maligtang tao for your growth. Para may pagbabago naman sa iyong buhay. Kasi ito yung mangyayari, guys. Okay? So, as I told you, siguro may mga tao ka sa buhay mo na may mentality attitude. Ayaw ka niyang umangat. So, ginagawa niya sa iyo lagi, pinapabagsak ka, or may ginagawang kalokohan behind the scenes. Okay? So, imagine if you remain on where you're at. Na, imagine mo na nawal, hindi nangyari yung change na yan. Do you think you will grow? Of course not, because of the reason na may tao na nagbebetray, kaya hindi ka umaangat sa buhay. Imagine mo na lang yung halaman kapag may mga insekto, may weeds sa paligid, okay, or kung ano man yan, 
paano mag-grow yung halaman na yun? Ganun din sa'yo. Okay? So, you need to be surrounded by good people. So, naya kayo siguro kasi, um, yun nga, maraming tao inalis sa yung buhay. Nalayo ka. At sa ngayon siguro, you feel like you don't have any friends, um, may mga relatives mo, um, hindi caring sa'yo, malayo din sa'yo. So, they remind you na kailangan to mangyari. For the best, okay? So, I feel here na ito siguro yung kinakatakot mo na kapag wala sila, you will become like this, okay? Like you will become um, unstable with regards sa pera. So, gusto sabihin sa'yo ng Panginoon na wag ka masyadong co-dependent over people around you. You really have to be grounded on your own. And I'm sensing here as well na kaya nangyari yung changes sa yan kasi baka yung nangyari is hindi ka na makapag-express sa sarili mo at saka masyado ka nang naging ganito yung energy. Kasi baka yung nangyari sa yung buhay is that yung mga tao sa palig kid mo, pinaprevent ka nila magsalita. Um, Paano tinatakot ka, binigyan ka ng traumatic experience and so on. So, ito yung gusto mayari ng Panginoon na mawala na itong energy na nakakulob ka lang. Kasi I feel guys that you are destined to be out there to speak your truth. Okay? Tsaka to, to go after your goals and your dreams. And I feel na iyak ka kasi yun nga may blockage and you feel that. At nilayo ka ng Panginoon sa kanila kasi you will be receiving these gifts. At gusto sabihin sa'yo ng Panginoon na may king maayos yung iyong buhay. You just have to focus right now on your work, on your career. Okay, and remain grounded as you can see here. Maging kalmado ka. Huwag mo lagi isipin na, you know, you want a person to complete you because I feel like uh, magkakaroon naman kayo ng partner na doesn't for you, huwag mong madaliin. Yung gusto ng Panginoon sa ngayon, i-balance mo muna si career before you look for a partner. Okay? So, ito yung malungkot ka kasi ito yung gusto mo na may connections ka, may partner and so on. Pero, sa ngayon, napilit ka ng Panginoon na magising ka muna because I think you could be somebody na hindi mo man na naranasan na maging single. Okay? Baka sa inisip mo yung pagiging single ay hindi maganda. Okay? So far, kapag naging single ka, guys, ma-realize mo na magagawa mo yung mga bagay na hindi mo naranasan before. Lalo na kasi maybe you experience to be with a partner na talagang controlling sa'yo. Okay? And kung hindi mo yan about sa partner, baka about yan sa family, maybe you hold back many times already in your life, di mo man naranasan na mag-travel or kung ano man ang gusto mo. So, God is wanting you to know these things has to happen for you to have self-discovery and for you to experience whatever you dream about na hindi mo nagawa. So, go after it, whatever you dream about. At saka, um, itry nyo rin mag-heal, guys. Kasi I'm kind of like feeling here na meron kang emotion or could be experiences that holds you back. Kasi sakali man na may nasabi sa yung mga tao, let that go, release that. Kasi nabanggit nila yan kasi ayaw ka nilang umangat. So, anyway... Let's see what else do we have here. So, yun nga, ito yung kinatakot mo na nagkaroon ka ng losses. But it's really fated to happen so that you will learn how to be open. How to be somebody who's expressive. Kasi I'm sensing na iba sa inyo baka nagkaroon kayo ng strictong magulang na nag-hold back sa inyo to express. But yet, I'm feeling na nilayo ka ng Panginoon sa kanila because of the reason that you really have to be out there there. You have to be open. If you know sa inyo, tinawag din ng Panginoon to actually um, tell your story out there. Kasi baka yung story nyo may mapupulutan na aral dyan. So, I feel na yeah, it's really doesn't to happen that you write a book about your life. Or kung di man mag-write ng book, at least you actually tell your stories out there. Kasi mapupulutan nyo ng aral for other people. 
So anyway, we also have this one here. So I feel like God is wanting you to actually get away from your comfort zone because of the reason that you're destined for more. And I'm sensing with this one, I feel like what you're going through is really difficult. Kasi siguro, ito yung energy mo, and na uh, contento ka kahit mahirap yung nasa paligid, okay? Kahit na mahirap mag-grow. Pero, inalis ko ng Panginoon sa comfort zone na yan. Kasi this time around, you need to learn how to actually be depend dependent on yourself, not co-dependent on others, okay? For your sake na rin. And I feel like God is wanting you to trust a process. Kung sakali man na-hurt ka kasi yun nga gusto mong magkaroon ng jowan, you got used to it, na may partner ka, but that God is wanting you to know that this has to happen so that you will finally meet the one for you. But that as of this time, God is calling you to retreat from whomever na inalis na sa iyong buhay and focus on your work as of this time or ground yourself first before love life, okay? So, you have this card, Whimsy. So, I feel like yung nangyayari ngayon sa iyong buhay talaga nag-aalisa na inalis ang Panginoon yung mga tao na hindi mabuti sa iyong buhay. Maybe also addictions or it can be yung mga basta Anything that is toxic, anything that's holding you back from growing. At gusto sabihin sa'yo ng Panginoon na maging kampante ka and know that everything happens for a reason at para to sa'yo kabubuti ninyo. So anyway, tingnan pa natin kung ano pang meron. So we have this one in reverse. We also have the betray here. Ito yung malungkot guys, okay? Kasi hindi pa kayo ganito na naka-upright seat crown. Kasi meron tao siguro sa buhay ninyo na nagbe-betray behind the scenes. Ngayon, kung susabihin ng Panginoon, nilayo ka niya sa taong ito, sa aha, sa inyong buhay. Kasi gusto ka na niyang umangat sa inyong buhay. So, nilalayo ka sa mga tao may mentality attitude na ayaw kang mag-grow. So, we also have the space here. So, as of now, you do have that space to do whatever that you want to do. The mass is in either way. Gusto rin sabi ng Panginoon na baka na-overwhelm kayo kasi nakita mo na yung mga tao sa paligid mo on whom they are. So, ito yung masakit. So, gusto sabihin sa ng Panginoon na hindi rin kasi maganda na we just look at the mask. Kailangan makita mo yung katotohanan kasi it's for the, it's for the best and it's for your inner peace na rin. So, you have this one, X. So, gusto sabihin din ng Panginoon na lumayo ka na sa mga tao na inalis na sa iyong buhay. Hindi mo na dapat sila binabalik-balikan. Kasi first of all, there's somebody who could be using you for money. Yung iba naman sa inyo, baka yun nga, tinatry niya i-block yung iyong blessings. So, kaya nilayo sila sa iyong buhay. So, first of all, they are toxic in your life as you can see. Or maybe nilayo ka rin sa addictions kasi dahil dyan di ka nag-grow. So, Make sure that you're letting go of something na nilayo ng Panginoon sa'yo. So, you have to alone in either way. So, God is asking you not to be afraid to be alone. Because by being alone, you will become stronger. Kasi if yun ay nangyari dito na hindi ka na sanay talaga mag-isa. To the point na hindi mo na rin alam mag-survive on your own. So, I'm feeling here na gusto sabihin sa ng Panginoon na it's now time for you to learn how to be independent. At saka gusto sabihin ng Panginoon na sa ngayon, wag ka muna maghanap ng jowa. Focus ka muna on how to be independent kasi matagal na pa na na, na hindi mo naranasan na maging in solo. Kamu isipin lagi na masama maging solo, di maganda. Kasi may mga positive din naman ang um, pagiging single guys. Hindi lang pulos negative yan. 
At saka huwag kami mag-alala sa love life kasi darating din naman ang panahon, magkakaroon ka rin na lover. Tiwala lang talaga guys, okay? So yung sabi yung in reverse, so God is wanting you to know na nilayo ka rin sa mga tao na abusive at saka you need some time as well to heal whatever you encounter with these certain people para na rin magkaroon kayo ng um what we call this, ang attitude to express yourself at saka huwag kayong paunahan ng fear. Okay, kasi malayo na kayo sa tao na ganito yung energy. At yun nga, binigyan kayo ng pagkakataon ng Panginoon na maka-experience na wala yung mga toxic na yan sa paligid. Ngayon, tinan naman natin kung ano pang mensahe ng Panginoon. I feel na kailangan nyo rin ng karma reading. So, before we talk along to it, let's see kung ano pang mensahe sa inyo ng Panginoon. I'm sensing kung ano pang we're starting all over again. It's an old song. Ayong... Na-sense ko yung part ng kanta, Things I Never Forget. Mm-hmm. Parang ganun ba? Parang naiyak kayo pa nalala nyo yung past. Pero gusto sabihin ng Panginoon na huwag nyo nang balikan yung past. Isipin nyo na um, may mga hindi maganda nangyari din doon. At saka isipin nyo rin na dahil din doon, kaya hindi kayo nakapag-grow. With regards can be sa inyong career. Okay? Or... Yung talento nyo, hindi nyo man na-acknowledge dahil sa mga taong yan. So, sana, you have to see the positive side of things rather than yung pulos negative na lang. And take some time to heal as well. Okay, so, ito yung nangyari na naging stagnant kayo with regards sa yung buhay. Kasi, you could be with somebody na hindi mo naman talaga so tribe. Ay malungkot dito guys, kaya you know, you let go in a hard manner because of the reason na ganito yung energy nyo na hindi nyo nila let go. And that's also the reason why kung bakit naka-experience siya kayo ng, you know, um, withdrawal from these people or from these certain things na masakit. Kasi yun nga, first of all, ay yung pakawalan. So, kailangan, nangyari dito, nagkaroon kayo na experience. So, experience it in a hard manner. So, next time around, kung ayaw mo ng ganitong hush na withdrawal, you know, kusa na kayo mag-withdraw sa toxic situations. Ngayon, gusto sabihin ng Panginoon na huwag kayo mawala ng pag-asa kasi by you being released from these certain things, may darating na bagong opportunity can be about money, business, career, can be also about love life situation. So, this is nice, guys. Okay, but remind yourself na bago si love life, balansin mo muna si career. Okay, and after this, saka palang darating yung partner for you. But you really have to let go of people that are toxic. Isa na sa rason kung bakit hindi mo nami-meet kung sino yung mga taong mabubuti kasi maybe you're holding on towards snakes. So, iwasan mo yun kasi isipin mo rin naman yung condition kapag, let's say, sinan agad ng Panginoon yung mabuti habang surrounded ka ng snakes. Kasi may tendency, guys, na baka may gawin silang masama dun sa mabuti. So, ito rin yung dahilan kung bakit hindi mo pa talaga na meet yung mga mabuting tao sa iyong buhay. So, that's the reason why it's really important to let go of something na hindi nakabuti sa inyo. So, this time around, we're going to check kung ano naman ang karma ng mga tao na ahas sa iyong paligid. Another dimension to me. So, anyway, let's see what we have. I mean, it's energy na parang kayong 
lang parang natamad din yung na-sense ko na energy. But let's see kung kayo ng energy ba to if it's you or this person. So, let's check what we have here. So, if ever your person is someone na controlling sa'yo, so makakatagpo rin sila ng girlfriend or partner, na girlfriend or partner, pwede rin boyfriend, okay? Na somebody na controlling, manipulative. Kasi ito yung ginawa niya sa inyo. Kung ano man ang ginawa niya, and for sure, kung sino man talaga yung masamang tao na yan, hindi niya yan, um, hindi yan nakakabuti sa kanya. Akala niya siguro noong pisa, this is the one, but in the future, this person will realize that um, this isn't, you know, a good person for him or her. Pero gusto nila umalis, pero hindi sila makaalis kasi baka may kasunduan or baka nakasal sila. Kaya hirap siya malayo sa controlling na tao sa kanyang buhay. Isa rin sa kanyang karma, this person has to see you in this position na balance na si career at ganun din sa yung money which is nice, okay? And isa rin sa kanyang karma guys, magkakaroon siya ng blockage with regards sa money at saka marami rin attack, batikos against this person at saka imbalance na yung pera at saka puno ng drama rin yung kanyang buhay. Ngayon, kung sakali man yung tao mo dating successful, mawawala yung success na yan, guys. Mawawala yung kung ano ang career na meron sa kanya. At saka yung masaklap na ito, once wala na si pera, si career, hindi na siya actually titingalain ng mga tao. Kasi whomever this is, guys, okay, baka kasi iba sa kanila, micro-mentality issue, ayaw niya umangat yung iba, gumagawa ng mali sa iba, para hindi sila umangat, so mararanasan nila yan, na sila naman yung hindi umangat, at saka hindi sila titingalain ng mga tao, dahil natanggal yung kanilang career, or pwede rin yung kanilang money. So, anyway, that's it guys with regards sa yung reading. I just hope this may give you some insight about your situation, and God bless all of you. Sa so, pupili ng sleep card, ito niyo reading. Tinan natin kung ano yung mensahe sa inyo ng Panginoon. Right away, na-sense ko yung kanta na um, nakalimutan ko lang yung title, guys. Um, we're starting all over again. Yun yung na sense ko na part but I'm not sure if that's it's a title pero na, na sense ko kasi yung part na um, things I never forget basta mm -hmm. hindi ko alam yung lyrics pero yung part na yun yung nasa sense ko na kanta okay na lyrics part sorry guys anyway let's see what else we have Okay, gusto sabihin ng Panginoon na huwag kayo masyado mag-alala. Remain grounded and be kind to yourself. Kasi I'm sensing na marami yung pagbabago sa inyong buhay. At yun nga, minamalas ka rin. Nasense ko rin na may anger energy din dito. So, sana guys, huwag kayo maging revengeful um, despite sa nangyari sa inyo. Ngayon, i-clarify ko yung cards. I feel na malungkot kayo kasi yun nga, may nangyari. So, may nanayig tayong tahol kanina. Ibig sabihin na baka may away na nangyari. May tampuhan. Okay, pero patuloy kong nasa-sense na huwag kayong mag-alala. So, maybe that is what God is trying to tell you na huwag kayong mag-alala. Nasense ko rin yung heaviness sa akin, Tommy. Ibig sabihin na may anger din. 
Anyway, ito yung iba natin message. So, we got a peaceful and fury. So, yun nga may away kaya kayo nalulungkot. But yet, God is wanting you to know na sa ngayon, huminahon kayo and take some time to heal. Lalo na kung may anger kayo. Okay, maghanap kayo na medium to let this go and also cry it all out. Okay? Maging kalmado kayo, guys. And let's see what we have. So, we got a voice and idea. So, gusto nila sabihin sa inyo, guys, na meron siguro kayong idea kung ba't ito nangyari. Kasi maybe with the voice being here, baka may mga salita na bitawan or pwede rin by words, you know, kaya yun nga, nagkainitan. Gusto sabihin ng Panginoon na if ever you're the one who's the cause of this trouble next time around, mag-ingat kayo sa sinasabi nyo kasi nagtitrigger yan talaga ng masamang nangyayari. So, you have the coach here and this one. So, gusto rin sabihin ng Panginoon na by this experience is actually teaching you something. And kaya ito yung nangyari sa inyong buhay. And God is also wanting you, know, you to know na baka kasi may mga signs kayo rin na hindi napapansin. Kaya yung nangyari, isang betray kayo. So, ito rin yung dapat mo rin matutunan na once you see the red flag signs from heaven, wag yung bala baliwalain yun kasi it's something that will protect you from deceitful people. I feel na yung nangyari dito is you experience things um, in a hard way. Okay? So, at least you learned your lessons already as of now. Na kapag may sign, you have to follow Okay, and I feel na yak kayo kasi, you know, you really care about this person or about people around you. And I think you could be somebody na mabuti. Um, tsaka, yun nga, kaya kayo na iyak. Kasi you care about everyone. But yet, God is wanting you to know na sa ngayon focus kayo sa work. Huwag kayo masyado mag-focus kung nasasabi ng ibang tao. Kung ano yung feeling sila sa ngayon. Kasi lalo ka may stress. Okay? Iwasan nyo mag-people please guys. Kasi kapag, um, let's say, nag-people please kayo, expect something out of it. Talagang masasaktan kayo pag yung expectation mo ay hindi na meet. Okay, kasi let me remind you na may mga tao na kahit mabuti ka sa kanila, hindi sila mabuti sa'yo. You get my point there. So, sana iwasan nyo yung um, magpipipo please kayo and expect, you're ex expecting good results from it. So, we have this one. So, yun nga. I'm feeling here na you're divinely guided to move on from these people. Okay, tsaka mag-let go na rin kayo ng stress kasi maybe na-stress kayo sa mga tao sa paligid. I think this thing has to happen to you for you to know kung ano talaga yung mga tao sa paligid mo. Kasi maybe they're wearing masks, facades, and hindi mo talaga kalain na ahas sila sa yung buhay. So, bilang nag-fall yung mask, sabigla ka. So, I feel like this is happening kasi nga naging stubborn kayo. Hindi ka niniwala sa red flags. Kaya ayan na nangyari. Nakita mo na yung nangyari in a hard way, a harsh manner. Kaya yun yung nangyari sa'yo. So sa ngayon, what God is wanting you to know, you really have to be in this way. Na you have to heal yourself. We can have some time for peace of mind. At saka lumayo ka na sa mga negative na tao sa inyong buhay. So, also with a sleep card being here, so iwasan nyo muna na mag-people please, guys, okay? Because it's no time for you to care for yourself because you're healing from whatever had happened to you. So, so far, na-sense ko yung sakit ng aking chan, okay? Um, hindi naman dahil sa gutom. I feel like it's kind of like more on anger energy, Kapag ganito yung pakiramdam. So, we have this one in reverse. So, yun nga. Gusto sabihin sa inang Panginoon, nagkaroon nga ng downfall. Kasi, yun nga, may mga aha sa paligid. So, I think if ever this is about um, career matters, guys, parang pinupush kayo ng Panginoon na mag-iba na lang kayo ng career. Or pwede mag-iba kayo ng company to work with. 
Kasi yun nga, may mga taong deceitful sa paligid at ito rin yung nararamdaman mo na hindi ka talaga comfortable because you're being watched on whatever that you're doing. So, nilayo ka ng Panginoon sa ganitong environment kasi first of all, hindi siya nakabuti sa inyo. So, you have the curse in reverse, and we also got the land in reverse. So, gusto sabihin sa inang Panginoon, so dito sumakit yung chan ko sa energy na to. So, gusto sabihin ng Panginoon na yung iba sa kanila guys, kaya ungrounded ka kasi may mga nangungulam sa'yo and you didn't know that they curse you with regards sa finances. So, kaya ka rin nilayo sa kanila. So, you have that chase here. So, you could be people pleaser. Chine-chase mo yung uh, mga tao. So, iwasan mo na yung ganyan. At saka, kusa naman sa'yo na pupunta yung mga tao. Even if you're not chasing after them. So, anyway, we have this one, X. We also have this in either way. We also got the abuse in either way. So, ito yung masakit, okay? Kasi iba sa inyo about sa love life yun na wala. But that God is wanting you to know na nangyari ito kasi maybe your partner is abusive at hindi na ito nakakabuti sa yung mental health kaya ka na niya nilayo. And I feel as some of you guys who could be Someone na um, may desa na gawin for this world. So, I think na iba sa inyo kala nyo to pagdaanan kasi maybe you should express it someday. So, anyway, let's see kung ano pang meron. Kung ano pang mensahe ng Panginoon for you. Another dimension to me. I'm sensing third party situation. So, baka nangyari dito ay third party situation. Kung love life man yan. I feel na nangyari yun para malayo kayo dun sa tao. So, pero sense ko talaga na sobrang kayo ng stress. So, you have to realize then kung ito ba talaga yung tao na hanap mo. Kasi, If ever it's about a relationship na nawala sa inyo, there is somebody else for you. At hindi siya na-unlock kasi maybe you're still dealing with the wrong person. So far, the right person is, you will begin first as friends before you turn into lovers. At saka may kita mo talaga sa taong yun na siya ay mabuting tao. So God is wanting you to know that by you being withdrawn from these negative people, ma-unlock siya ng bago mga tao sa inyong buhay na mapagmahal at mapag-aruga. So, kung hanap mo ay kaibigan, so, mga kaibigan yan na mapagmahal. Ngayon, gusto rin sabihin ng Panginoon, marami tayong cups dito, okay? So, gusto rin sabihin ng Panginoon na after all these things that happened, sana manatili kayo maging mabuti. Huwag kayo maging masama. And I feel na kaya hindi rin nag-grow kung ano man yun. Kasi guys, you know, may may tao sa paligid na hindi mabuti or something na toxic. And this change has to happen so that finally you will meet the one for you with regards to love department. At ganun din sa friendships, connection. At saka, oh, this is nice, okay? After all these things that happen, guys, magkakaroon na kayo ng abundance, money, ganun din sa friendship. Okay, matutuwa ka na sa buhay mo. At yun nga, may yaka sa tawa sa future. So, yung sa ngayon, yung kailangan mong gawin is acknowledge na this change has to happen for the best. So, yung masyadong isipin na it's, it's something na negative, okay? So, I feel na like with regards sa yung reading dito, parang nafe-feel ko in the future, you will be in that number one pile energy. So, feel free to watch number one kasi yun yung future mo, guys. But yet, doon sa reading na yun, you know, baka naka-apekto naka kasi yung nangyari sa past. So, sana take some time to heal about these emotions that you have with regards to past people. So, ngayon, tinan naman natin kung yung karma ng mga tao na negative sa yung buhay.
I feel like basa kanila guys. Okay. Paano na sa sense ko kasi dito yung experience of somebody na pinagtulungan. Matananasan din nila yan someday. Magka-question sila about what they did um, to you. And I feel like they will also have guilt in their heart. Dahil sa nagawa nilang mali. Pero future pa siya, yun ang nabanggit nila. So meaning, hindi pa nila naranasan yung karma na to. Kasi baka whatever had happened now, um, ngayon pala nangyari kaya yun nga. Hindi, hindi pa nag-strike si karma. So anyway, let's see what we have. So this is nice for you guys. Kasi may kita ka niya na may king happy ka with your life emotionally. Okay, your life is definitely will be fulfilling. Sa kanya naman, nakita mo naman na may problem siya with regards sa money. Hindi siya stable with regards to it. At yung masakit dito rin, guys, makatagpo rin siya ng mga tao na kagaya niya na hindi mabuti. Pulos drama yung kanyang buhay. At kung may nihintay man siya, hindi yan darating. Mahala siya sa career din, sa business. Okay, kung in-expect niya lalago, hindi lumago. Yung mga expectations, you know, hindi, hindi nakarating sa kanya. Isa rin sa kanyang karma, guys. Meron siyang blockage with regards sa kanyang crown chakra. Hindi siya makapag-isip ng maayos. At hindi rin siya, I feel na, um, naiyak siya dahil dito kasi hindi siya makapag-decide. Okay, hirap siya. At kailangan ng tao na tumulong sa kanya mag mag-decide. And I feel this is somebody na hindi ba lang nakita yung worth mo, manhid siya. Okay? So, kaya pinadama sa kanya kung ano man yung naranasan ninyo. Isa sa kanyang karma, guys, may kita kanya successful kasi sino yung mga binigtima niya. At saka wala kang problema sa pera. Siguro before you do have issues with money, but yet in the future, you will be grounded in terms of that. So, anyway, isa sa kanyang karma, iba sa kanila may kasong kakaharapin, kaya sila mawawala ng pera or mawawala ng trabaho. Pwede rin na may mga tao na talagang andya sa kanila or matitikman din nila kung ano yung naranasan mo. So, isa rin sa kanilang karma, may downfall din with regards sa relationship. Kasi sakali man may jowa sila, mag -e ending yung connection. At saka with the world being in reverse, ibig sabihin may mga ending sa kanilang buhay. Can be about career, ganun din sa love situation. I'm not really sure kung anong ginawa niya sa inyo guys, pero nakita ko kasi sa reading mabigat. Kaya yung parusa sa kanya talaga ay madami. Okay, hindi lang so sa career, ganun din sa love life. So, take some time to heal, guys, okay? And that's it. God bless you all.